Welcome to the old horseshoe on the banks of the Olentangy, home of the Ohio State Buckeyes and one of the great settings in all of college football. Boy, the scarlet and gray already rocking this house. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the Marshall Thundering Herd, taking on the second-ranked team in the land, the Ohio State Buckeyes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Buckeyes will put total leather to crank us up. Coming out with it, it's Payne. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So the Marshall Thundering Herd will go on offense first to start this game. And there he is. To this team's fans, he is a heroic figure. He is the guy who can lead them to the promised land. This guy has been in big games, in big moments, and he's delivered for his football team. It never seems like a situation is just too big for him. This obviously is a huge game. I cannot wait to see this guy compete. Yeah, and he runs a quick out route, and this is a timing route. Quarterback has to trust him, throw him the football. You can tell they've thrown this a time or two. Nice job, nice success. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting him know it's going to be a long day. Caught in the backfield, it's Metcalf. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. Well, if you're going to get first downs against this defense, you're going to have to earn it. You're going to have to make people miss. This is an excellent tackling unit. You saw it on that last play. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. They'll try to bully their way for the first. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. This is an offense that prides themselves on being physical. They love running the football. That's their identity. But the defense getting that stop on third and short against the run, that sets a very clear message that they've shown up to play. They know it's coming, and they're going to be here all day. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. The Buckeyes offense has the ball for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He'll pull it on the read. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. How about the defensive end understanding football? Understanding that I got to keep outside contained. I'm responsible for the quarterback. Good job playing his responsibility. And how about getting that sucker on the ground? He's a pretty good athlete to be able to corral him, tackle him right in the middle of the field and get him to the ground. Looking downfield, it's Howard. Fires left. Pulls it in. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. Now they'll run it to the right here. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Caught in the backfield, it's Scott. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. 
Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and of being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. Nothing but green ahead. They'll finally get him stopped at the one-yard line. What a run there. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. And the Buckeyes have it in scoring position on first and goal. Around the corner, it's Henderson. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. Off the boot, looking for his man. <laughs> and the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. We just need better execution on offense right now. Not able to get it done on first down, and now they give up the sack. If you're the head coach right now, you might want to think about a timeout, make sure your guys have their minds right. Third and goal from way back there. To the air, it's Howard. Looking for the score. Just about had the pick in the end zone. Instead, it'll be fourth down. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. It's wise not to be too greedy, and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's 3 to nothing. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before. And here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drop. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. Head coach has to be happy with that. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner will be brought down. Marshall takes over the ball, the thundering herd offense coming out. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He'll keep it himself. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets him out to the 25-yard line. Yeah, and Apple the QB calls his own number and all these options, obviously multiple plays. He decides to stick with it, get some positive yards, and, and now what's next off of that? What's my next read off of that? How am I going to mix things up and keep this defense off balance? On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. Marshall back at it with another first and ten. After the run, 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 now to throw. Caught on the outside, it's Chapman. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. Looking at a second and short now. They'll run it out of the shotgun. 
That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Looking to throw, it's Pennington. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Marshall will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch called for, but a flag is on the field. Let's see what that's about. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Quarterback on the keeper. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. You know, as a quarterback, when you're doing this zone replay, you got to read that defensive end. And if he crashes down hard inside to take the running back away, right away you know now you're keeping the football. Nice job by the quarterback. Running game worked on first down. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Power football with the run. Tackle is made after the first down. And this offense is clicking, everything's moving, and the guy carrying the football, I mean, he is carrying the rock. Like, this is a guy that's he's setting this tone for this game, creating some balance on this offense. This offense is going to be a handful. Yeah, David, I'd love to sit here and say, well, the offensive coordinator is just one step ahead of his counterpart across the field. That's not it. Right now, this offensive line is establishing the line of scrimmage, and you mentioned the bat. He right now is running with authority on this drive. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He'll do it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And as a defensive player, you see so much option nowadays and so many different variants of it. And you got to play very disciplined, sound football. And you could tell he knew he was responsible for the quarterback. He goes and gets him, sits him on the ground, creates a tackle for a loss. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. And that defender was just smothering the quarterback on that screen attempt. You know, the QB's taught to hold on to it to the last possible second. He had no shot trying to negotiate that defender. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. He's going to try to knock one through from 49 yards away. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. It's been punch, counterpunch throughout the early part of this game as we take a look at the first quarter stats. We've got a 
good one going here. I'm looking forward to keep those vibes rolling here in the second. They'll give it to him again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making the tackle for a loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. To the air. It's Howard. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. Well, even though that was an incompletion, I wouldn't be surprised if this secondary wants to start playing deeper coverages. Because this offense has shown that they're willing to be aggressive. They've got a lot of speed. This defense cannot allow any big plays here in the second half. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Looking to buy time. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Buckeyes send out the punt unit. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Looking for a block. It's Payne. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. They'll leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. A little screen to the running back. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing. Offensive line allowed everybody to run up field, and they slip in the running back screen in behind it. There was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. He's there to make the stop. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Might as well stick with him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Dropping back. It's Pennington. Just missed on the connection. Incomplete. Third and long situation. They try to go screen. I think they were hoping it was going to be a big zone and they could get those offensive linemen down the field. But the defense sniffed it out, forcing the incompletion. Marshall will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. The Buckeyes headed quickly to the line. They'll give it to the back. Breaks a tackle and he's got room. Just a savvy veteran productive run from this junior. As they unpack the pile, it's part of Ohio State's DNA to have a lethal running game. 
And this is a trend, Reese. We can go back as long as you want to go back, and we can go back a couple years to J.K. Dobbins, and we can go all the way back to Eddie George. They always find great running backs at Ohio State. The give on the inside. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yard. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy on the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. It, what could have been set up in a long yard situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Tried to fight his way through that tackle, but he's brought down. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. Now on third down, this offense has been rolling. Can the defense stand tall? They'll try to get it through the air. The quick out. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it's a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. Dropping back, it's Howard. Makes his connection. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. And the Buckeyes have it with a first and ten. Run in the red zone, it's Henderson. Drives into the defense, and they get him down after a pickup of three to the 16. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Going to run it. It's Judkins. Makes a man miss. Able to get one down to the 15. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. Into the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Buckeyes. That is confidence in your arm streak. Look at the revolutions on that one as he zips it in there. Confidence, arm arrogance, whatever you want to call it. You can tell he believed it. Put it right where he needed to. You got double coverage. You got to fit it in there. He believed, and he did. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They go 83 yards on the drive, and they finish it up with a 15-yard scoring toss. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Marshall offense makes its way back onto the field. Good vision and determination there to find his way up to the 23. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. They'll put it in play from the 27, first down.
he wants to throw. With the catch, it's Metcalf. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Well, that receiver, he knew he had to get his head turned around quickly. He's running the curl route against zone coverage, but he knows his quarterback is going to be firing that ball into him. It's a rocket pass. He's able to make the catch and get the first. Marshall quick to the line. To the air, it's Pennington. Shoots it to the left. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Zone coverage that time, and the cornerback, a nice job with his eyes. He's watching the quarterback. He sees the ball thrown, so he knows exactly when to break on it. He's able to break it up for an incompletion. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. He's looking to throw. They've got the screen set up. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And there you go. You see, you don't have to throw bombs to get big plays in the passing game. Just screen it to your running back. As soon as he catches it, he gets upfield. And how about the downfield blocking by these linemen and the wide receivers as they rip off that explosive play? Good timing on the quick out. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. You know, oftentimes these slot receivers, they're not the biggest guys in the world, but they're really good at finding the open spaces in the middle of the field. And you saw that guy attack the defense in the perfect spot, making life easy for his QB. Second down coming up. Back to the air one more time. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Defense were always trying to get some tips, you know, break on the football, get a tip. Get it up in the air. Nice job by the player breaking the football and forcing the incompletion. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. You know, on a third and short like that, you just have to have great chemistry between the quarterback and his receiver. They just couldn't get on the same page. Now it's in some fourth down. Marshall will be forced to punt. And the punt hits at the eight and goes into the end zone for the touchback. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance. You run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. After the big play to start, now they are on the move at their own 45. Looking to go up top on first down. Got his man to the left. His defense giving up ground as he's finally knocked down at the 26. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time. Spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense. Understanding what the defense has given him and creating an explosive play. Now on first and 10 from the 26. Use the play fake. Now to throw. He'll take a shot. And he makes the catch, but just a hair out of the back of the end zone. It'll be incomplete. You simply don't see that very often. A quarterback of this guy's caliber missing a guy wide open in the end zone. He makes those throws in his sleep. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking to throw a tower. Fires to the wide out. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. He's got it! Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business for the first and goal. 
Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. They'll run it on first and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Ohio State. Up and over, Yamo be there into the end zone. And, and you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. In the end zone, near the goal line, you smell it. A lot of bodies in front of you. Just get up, get over top of them, get that touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. And he takes this from inside the five. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. Marshall takes over the ball, the thundering herd offense coming out. Now you find out just how much of a gunslinger you are. Will you roll the dice here late in the half, David? And you know the defense is going to be really, really conservative. So I think it's an opportunity to be able to take a shot, see how much of a chunk you can get before then you decide really, Jesse, how you want to finish the half. You just can't turn it over and throw a pick if you're the quarterback here. You have got to be so smart if you're going to be aggressive with your decision making. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the wideout. Makes the grab. And he make the stop, and that is the end of the first half. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Fellas, looks like we've got a great one going down in Columbus today. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, we send it back to the guys in the shoe. Second half just about ready to go, and Marshall will kick it off. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute them. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. After trying the running game, let's see if they do it again on second down. Here's the handoff. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. This is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. Yeah, run the football. You're ahead. You can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the pass. This keeps everything in balance for this offense. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. The run from the shotgun. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Looking for a man. It's Howard. He finds his man. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. The Buckeyes have their offense in high gear. They'll throw it on first down. Finds his tight end. 
They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Really good concept there to get things going and use the tight end early. Yeah, I mean, just such a great job on first down, setting up an easier second down. Understanding I don't always have to push the ball down the field, but see the tight end, make the throw. No, it's not a big game that makes life really easy on me on second down. He wants to throw here on second down. Gets it out fast. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And when you run those drag routes, it just takes a little bit of know-how. And when I say that, the receiver's got to understand, find space. My quarterback's going to find me. He's looking for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. The Buckeyes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Looking down the middle. Tight end getting vertical. And it's complete at the six. Defense right there, but now they're backed up with a goal-to-go situation. It's really hard when you get in those predictable situations. Defenses are sitting on the sticks. Receivers have to understand where that first down marker is. Heads up play, nose for the first down marker. Get in there and get it. Well, jet sweep pass. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. Trying to barge their way in. And to the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Buckeyes! And the running back gets his second rushing touchdown of the game. You want to continue to feed this guy. You can tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard punch. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Marshall offense makes its way back onto the field. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision-making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quickly. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Chapman. Dragged down at the 30 after a five-yard gain. It's really easy to be a quarterback in an offense that runs the football and then runs play action. It makes it simple. It makes the reads easy. It sucks the linebackers and safeties up where I can just make plays right behind them. Marshall, quick to the line. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Got it behind the line. It's Harris. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Line getting set on second down. The give to the lone running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the offensive line had everybody blocked except the defensive end. He was able to sneak into the backfield and get the tackle for loss. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Looking to throw, it's Pennington. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. 
They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. And that's why, as a defense, you want to set up third and long situations. You just want to be able to keep the football in front of you. It's okay for that quarterback to hit the running back on that pass. Now you have all those bodies flying to the football, and they're able to make a tackle. Marshall will be forced to punt. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He'll field the punt. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Running to the left. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down, man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. Wants to throw on second down. Unloads it left. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. One of the great programs in the history of the sport, sort of built on the running game, but these days, these days, Ohio State defined by explosive pass play. Yeah, and you can call yourself whatever you want. A lot of people claim different things, like wide receiver you, but when you look at Ohio State, the past several years, going back 10 years probably, you could pick so many big names of guys who have been superstars, not only at the college level, but also at the NFL level. That's a really nice throw. And you think about being the starting quarterback at the Ohio State University with all the great players they've had here recently, what this offense expects from you. This is explosive passing attack. You've seen that now in recent years. They push the ball vertically down the field. This guy has the skill set. That's why he's out there on the field right now. He allows this offense to really go, and he's playing at a high level. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Back to pass, it's Howard. Unloads to the wide out. Got it! Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. Nice confidence by the QB. Good throw over the middle of the field. Nice little strike down the field for a big play. Listen, you got to throw it where it's open. And he found a slot, found a little hole in the middle of the field. Nice job attacking. And the Buckeyes trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Ohio State! And the route is on. Man, oh man, what a day. His third touchdown rushing, showing you he's got a little bit of everything. And padding those stats. And all you fantasy football guys, if you have my man at running back, it's a good day. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they closed the deal pushing their way inches into the end zone. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Payne. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. From the gun, they'll try the middle. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. From the gun, the ground game. Good blocking up front. Great job following it. He's got six to the 18. Listen, that wasn't the greatest run in the world but it was very successful, and you're making me honor the run. And another thing, 
every time you run the football, someone gets tackled. There's physicality involved in the game. So I like when offenses commit to the running the football, no matter what the outcome is, because those body blows do add up. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. The sudden change on the turnover, and Manny was looking for running room. Couldn't find that, but they'll have it at the 22. A lot of quarterbacks have so much confidence that they can fit the ball in tight windows. How about the defensive player right here making an unbelievable interception, forcing the turnover, big play, big momentum swing. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. There have been few obstacles for this offense as they are starting to pull away here in the second half, Jesse. And this has been a dream game for this play caller, too. Touchdown, Buckeyes! And the stomping has commenced. The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead, now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That's taking advantage of a golden opportunity set up with great field position, and they struck quickly for the touchdown. They're just about ready to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Marshall takes over the ball, the thundering herd offense coming out. Back to throw, it's Pennington. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. And this is one of the things that makes this defense so tricky is they've got incredible speed at the inside linebacker position. Not only can they go sideline to sideline, run east-west, but they can run downhill on blitzes, and they can get to your quarterback. Well, guys, Ohio State has the lead here. This has been a complete obliteration so far as the third quarter stats will show you. So will the beatdown continue or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. He's back to throw on second down. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. It's really hard to win football games when you're one-dimensional offensively, and that's the case. They just have not been able to get anything going, throwing it deep down the field. They haven't won their one-on-one -on -one matchups. Quarterback has missed some throws, and as a result, in the fourth quarter, they barely have 100 yards passing, and that's why they're losing. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. That's going to be a safety. The offense is back on top of it. This is bad, but it could have been worse. And they are fortunate to get the ball back, but unfortunate to have a long way to go after that loss. The kickoff team lined up. They'll have to give it back after giving up that safety. Bringing it back, it's Graham. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. They had this thing in a hammer lock at halftime, and now they are really ratcheting up the pressure, David. And I tell you what, this offense doesn't have to change a thing, Palmer. They've done what they wanted in the first half and starting off the second half in the same fashion. And I like how they're letting different guys get involved, too. They've got so many different playmakers all over the field. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. to the ground with the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader.
trying to pick up a first down. They'll try to power their way ahead. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. And the defense down in this game, they just can't do anything to stop this offense at this point, David. Right now, they know they're going to be trying to run the football and try and ice the game, but there's nothing at this point it seems they can do. Yeah, and it's frustrating. I got to sell out, man. I got to bring as many guys to the line of scrimmage as I can. I got to find a way to get this ball back to my offense. The, the clock is not my friend, and them running the football is only going to run this thing out quicker. I got to find a way to make something happen, strip the football, do something. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Leaves it with the running back. Found a little running room, and they get him stopped after a pickup of six to the 32. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Wide out in motion. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Nice job by this defense. Listen, you got to understand, they're going to run the football. They're going to try to milk the clock, Jesse. They got the huge lead. Haven't been a lot of good plays for this defense in this game so far, so can they build on that one? Can they create some turnovers here in the second half to get back in this game? He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. So going for it on fourth down is one thing. Quite another to say, we're going to run it for a couple. Yeah, that's impressive because that was a long two yards. And I think there are a lot of coaching staffs out there that would have probably tried to throw it or get their quarterback on the perimeter or give them a run pass option. But not this offense. They believe in their guys up front to get down in a three-point stance and drive off the ball. And it works out. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. The number one job is to protect your quarterback, and they weren't able to do it long enough that time. This offensive line, Reese, they've got to do a better job communicating pre-snap and try and figure out which people on defense are going to be rushing the passer. Right now, this offense just looks confused up front. After that five-yard loss, some work to do now to keep this drive humming at second and 15. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Back to pass, it's Howard. He'll throw it. Got the back over the middle. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. I don't know if they're trying to get this guy Heisman consideration, but the fact that they're still throwing the ball at this point of the game with a lead like they have is surprising, I gotta be honest. The Buckeyes will snap it on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. They're working that left side. And he's down after making the catch, but did not reach the line to gain. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. The handoff keep working on that clock. Touchdown, Ohio State! And the beatdown has ensued. Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. An impressive 66-yard touchdown drive. And it was capped off with the eight-yard run. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. 
Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Marshall offense makes its way back onto the field. And the last time they had the ball, they wound up giving up a safety, Jesse. Yeah, that was ungood the last time they had the ball. So they got to do something here offensively to get into a rhythm, running and throwing the football. Try to find that consistency, David. And try to find something positive with this offense. Forget about the safety. Those don't happen very often. Try to get some first downs together. Get some good mojo going. And now on second down for this offense. Back to throw. It's Pennington. Just a short pass to the tight end. And the big fella couldn't elude the cornerback who makes a sure tackle. Yeah, and tight ends aren't just line up and block guys anymore. These guys are athletes. You line them up all over the field. And nowadays, you even start to feature them more and more in the passing game. They come to the line facing third and long from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Catch in the middle. It's Conley. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. Marshall will be forced to punt. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Waves the arm for the fair catch, and the catch is made close to the 30-yard line. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Let's see what they've got on second down. Using his legs, it's Judkins. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, eat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they've built this lead. They've had a great day today. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Wants to throw. It's Howard. And the third down pass is incomplete. And that's a good stop for this defense. And listen, there hasn't been a lot of positive today, but like, let's finish this game strong. I think that'll be the message from the defensive coordinator. Can we get a stop? Can, can we get them off the field? I know a lot's went wrong, but like, let's live in this moment and try to be great right here to end the game. The Buckeyes will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Running it back, it's Payne. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. Marshall takes over the ball, the thundering herd offense coming out. This thing got out of hand on them, but they'll try to finish with some pride here. And this one was a beatdown, and there's nothing you can do about it because this one's over. Jesse, now we got to start progressing for next week for the rest of this season so we don't let one bad game turn into two. Yeah, there are very few teams out there that won't watch game film but they may want to skip this one. I mean, because it may hurt their confidence. They just need to turn the page and get ready for the next opponent and forget this day ever happened. Catch in the middle, it's Harris. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. Nice job by the receiver there, running the drag route against zone coverage, finding the soft spot, making it easy on his quarterback to get the completion. He turns it upfield and he moves the sticks. The offense has it first and 10 from the 42. He's going to pass. Caught in the backfield. It's Houston. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. How about the job and recognition by the defense? They knew exactly what they were trying to set up, and they had multiple defenders surrounding that intended target so that there was nowhere for him to go once he caught the ball. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. 
And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. 